is back in action, everybody. This is my first meeting of this leopard, actually. Sitting down in, on the sand there, hoping that her little baby will come out. And I believe nobody's managed to sex the baby yet. So that'll be quite interesting, won't it? Now I'm looking at her and I believe that it's possible her father, Guchava's father that is, of course she's Tundi's daughter, but it's possible her father is Mvula, which is very interesting. Well, there's, the cub. there's the cub, there's the little one. Hello little one. Um, I missed the name of that query, I'm afraid, Kirsten, but no, the cub does not have a name. Ah, Magic Dragon Wizard, of course, how could I possibly have forgotten that name? Magic Dragon Wizard, no, Cub does not have a name yet. And I imagine if we start to see this little thing for more regularly, we will definitely you know, prevail upon people to allow us to give it a name. That's very fun indeed. Now, does anybody know how old this cub is? I seem to remember that she's about three months. Oh, look at that. I think that's a little female. 10th of January, so about five months. Fantastic, thank you for that, James Richard, who's the great authority on not only leopards, but butterflies, I discovered today, with his instantaneous identification of the Eastern Scarlet. I think that's a little female, from what I saw there. I know that that's a flash ID, everyone, but I'm going to go with it for now. Come on, come back. She's coming back. That's why Mum's looking at her. I know this, this isn't the best view in the world, but we can't get any closer and maintain a signal, I'm afraid. So we're just going to have to make do down here. I've got from Kirsten in the final control that we're getting lots of oohs and ahs and sweets and cutes. Uh, yes, who can but disagree with all the oohs and ahs and sweets and cutes that you're giving us? Hello, my dear. My name's James. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> Sebastian on camera. Well, I wonder your mathematics is a bit better than mine. You said 10th of Jan is four months, is it? the 10th of February to the 10th of... Yes, I suppose it would be. Yeah, yeah three and a half months. Here we go. Four months, sorry, yes. Now let's look carefully. Yeah, I'm going with female there. Alistair, you want to know Chava's spot pattern? It is three, a three. Sorry, I'm just turning down my vicious game drive radio. I'm going to have to call this in for Andrew. I'm not sure where he's driving from. And to those of you who are new viewers, there are lots of tourists driving around here on game drives from commercial lodges and we're all in contact on the radio. Stations have relocated Guchawa at the moment a one out of five visual. She is in the drainage system just off your four B road. Now, more than that, I cannot really tell you about this leopard, other than the fact that she's this far north and seemingly very comfortable indicates to me that she really has taken over Tundi's old territory. This was Tundi's domain completely while Karula was alive. 
and so quite conveniently Tandi has moved into Karula's territory and young Guchava has moved into Tandi's territory and as we have started today on our Torchwood Traversing we have got both of them as new characters. Isn't that wonderful? Ooh, might be wrong there. A little glimpse behind the tail. Oh, that's a magical shot. This, yes, there definitely could be. I don't think in the southern parts of Torchwood. I think in the southwest or southeast towards the Kruger boundary we'll have Inkanyeni. Uh, this side, uh, we know Inkanyeni from our times at Cheetah Plains. We'll have Guchava here and Tandi north of here. But I think that the northeastern corner and possibly the northwestern corner into Biffles Hook could give us a sighting of a female leopard and cubs that they do see from time to time on Biffles Hook but that we have never seen. Hello, little thing. What is your spot pattern? Yeah, I'd love to try and get to the other side so we can get closer, but the bank is so steep that it actually wouldn't help at all. So we'll just have to satisfy ourselves with this long distance view for now. We might try and get down there and see if we can't wangle some signal a bit later. <laughs> Caitlin, you heard me there saying on the radio that Andrew, there was a one out of five visual. Um, you say, how do I rate that? Well, I rate it by my ability to see it from here with the naked eye, basically. It's